Hey you guys and welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings and we're now on Scorpio. Alright you guys, so let's see what Spirit has to say to you for this week. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Messages for Scorpios for this week. Okay. What do Scorpios need to hear and know? <clears throat> Messages for Scorpios for this week. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Okay, the cards want to come out. Whew. Okay. And one more. Hmm. So there's something here that you may want the truth about. There's something here that you may be needing to say or someone is needing to say to you you're wondering about this you you want the truth to come to the surface it's like something needs to come to the surface about how you feel about or about how someone feels toward you we do have discontent and boredom so you may be feeling like a situation is a little bit boring or something it's just Something's missing, something's lacking. Some type of truth could be missing here this week with that truth card coming out. And then the shadow card, which is like Pisces energy. So there, this is like the moon card as well. It represents secrets, fears, hidden things, things that are under the surface. So it's like some truth comes out, you are made aware of something or someone makes you aware of something um, here this week. And then we have emotional loss at the bottom of the deck, the five of cups. So, so someone regrets being stuck in their head, trapped in fear here. Yeah, they could have been mentally blocked with the third eye chakra. And they may want to get back with you <clears throat> with rejoice and celebration and the nine Nine of Cups here, Fulfillment of Wishes, and the Three of Cups. So it's like someone could want to reconcile. Maybe they finally see what you meant to them. They regret something. Someone is like sitting in regret. So let's see what this is about. Tell me more about this energy for Scorpios for this week. Tell me more about this energy for Scorpios this week. And if, if, if it's not you, vice versa, this could be what your person is dealing with, okay? <clears throat> Alrighty, so why is discontent and boredom here for Scorpios? Why is truth here? Mm. Why is shadow here? Yeah. At the bottom of the deck, magician. Gemini energy. Yeah, there could could be a Gemini involved somewhere in this equation. You know what I feel? You know what I feel? I feel like, because I don't know if this is your energy. That's, it may be for some of you, but for the majority, this is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like your person may have someone who still wants them. And this may be interfering with the two of you moving forward. Um, your person may be still trying to get away from something or to dis detach or distance themselves from a current energy, maybe from an ex who's still in their energy or something like that. Because I see Gemini's major arcana. I also see Aquarius's major arcana with the Queen of Cups. And then with the five of cups, which is emotional loss, you see the number five at the top of the card. It's the same card in a different deck. So we have, you know, two cards coming out the same. I feel like someone regrets letting their, per your person go. They still have feelings for your person, queen of cups. I know that Scorpio's energy, but I feel like someone from their past still has feelings for them, hoping the, with the star card to manifest something, 
hoping to manifest something. Mm. Yeah. With discontent and boredom, someone wants to win in this situation. Okay. Someone wants to win. Some of you could be having an argument about this this week with the truth card, eight of swords. Someone is a bit stuck in their head. And I feel like if this is you, it's like, you don't want to have to deal with someone else's ex. Like you're wondering like, okay, why won't they let this person go? But it's saying the truth is someone is still tied up. The truth is someone is still tied up. Whether that's mentally, emotionally, someone is still stuck. And then with the shadow card, we have the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Lots of sword energy. So these are things that are not being spoken because swords represent communication. But when you get swords in this... All of this is swords, all of these cards, the five of swords, eight of swords, nine of swords. So this tells me that someone's communication is blocked. Okay. Someone is trapped in fear and someone needs to speak up. Someone maybe this situation could be making you very angry. Okay. What else does Scorpio need to know about this situation? Just to get a little more clarity, what else does Scorpio need to know about this situation this week? Tell me more about the situation this week. What else does Scorpio need to know? Yeah, Two of Cups, Magician again with the Seven of Cups. So this, I feel like you have a connection with someone, right? But there may be a Gemini causing confusion. You guys, I feel like, I feel like Gemini's energy keeps coming out. So I feel like there's spirit is trying to say there may be a Gemini trying to come in between the two of you or a Gemini is some type of influence in this in some type of way causing confusion. <clears throat> there may be upset words or there may be an argument. There may be something that you have to address that you really don't want to. Um, but that's coming out very strongly. So what's the advice here for Scorpios for this week? Whoa, we, we had two come out. We had two come out. Listen to your intuition was the first one that came out. Listen to your intuition. Yeah, I feel like you, you may feel like there's a bit of competition maybe with your person's ex. Or something like that is going... This is very specific. So it may not resonate with every Scorpio, but that's okay. So listen to your intuition. If your gut is telling you something is wrong, <clears throat> your person may feel conflicted emotionally. Because they may be with you, but still feel a little bit of emotion toward their ex. Okay? And then opportunity is also here. Take this opportunity... I feel like this is not opportunity like career or anything like that. I feel like you need to take this opportunity uh, this week to get the truth out of your person. Get the truth out of them, okay? They may be scared to tell you with that Eight of Swords energy. They may be afraid. They may feel like it'll start an argument. But this is the only way that the two of you um, are going to be able to move forward if you get this all out. On, on the table and get it all out in the open and just deal with it, then the two of you will, will be able to move on and it won't be that conflict there. Okay. Alrighty, Scorpio. So that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. I look forward to hearing from you, Scorpios. Have a great week and take care. Bye.